yesterday when I was making a big song and dance and speaking about our best boy, Uanos, and why he's the best character ever, what I didn't take into account is in the background, we'd finished burning down a man's entire country and taking his family prisoner. Welcome back to <laughs> the adventures of Arch Priestess Pug, the uncaring, the conqueror, the destroyer, and forgetful. Uh, given that she did just, again, torch an entire nation and forget that she'd done it. So we are going to enforce demands here, get a bunch of gold, a bunch of prestige, a bunch of prisoners. Which brings me on to my next point. Yesterday, somebody asked, uh, Mr. Streamer, you should make a button to throw others, men, women, children, inbred children, into the labyrinth just to keep things tidy. What I have done since then is I've added a button. Uh, let me get to my prisoners. Hang on. Uh, I've added a button which allows us to throw men, women, and ch inbred children into the labyrinth in order to keep things tidy. Any questions? Uh, so now, if we have a prisoner, we can basically say, I'm a little bit annoyed by King Hamni of Zippura, and I can, I can chuck him right in there. Uh, it, it does come with the side effects that it does count as obviously putting him in a dungeon. So his family are very pissed off, but it does depose him. So he is permanently stuck in our magic labyrinth there. So, Hamni... Don't piss me off, otherwise you are you are getting labyrinth, brother. I think we'll start with our usual uh, our usual bag of tricks here. We'll go on a communion straight away. Uh, get that blitzed out as soon as... Oh, we didn't even, Like, no event with that. It's just like, click a button, get some lifestyle experience. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's quite nice, but thank you. Um, to the fair... Oh, he must have heard me talking about him. To the fair arch priestess pug. Please don't throw me in the labyrinth. Oh, he doesn't want me to throw his ch child in the labyrinth. You don't want me to throw your child in the labyrinth? How dare you? Get your ransoms out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, tiny child. They're also uh, in the background here, too. There's a little side mechanic where they're marked as busy. Kind of similar to NCK2 when you'd like do anything. The game would like it was busy, so nothing could happen to you. Um, I've also added that to our characters when they um, willingly enter the labyrinth. When we become a labyrinth guardian, you know, when we get too old and we've kind of played enough of a character, we can just shuffle them away. They'll be marked as busy from now on, so they will be proper labyrinth guardians, only capable of, uh, of, of combat if we need them, and that's basically it. So, that's quite a nice little, uh, it's quite a nice little side effect of also adding a labyrinth button. And then we'll immediately go on a pilgrimage as well. It's then uh, short, short, short. And there was definitely no long-term pilgrimage site, was there? No. I mean, again, there's no point going anywhere but Knossos if we are going on a short pilgrimage. It's all the same, right? Um, all I need is the protection of the Pantheon, especially because I plan on reforming this religion very soon. Speaking of which, we've got some points to spend. Um, so we've already got Theologian. We're going down into... Down into Hall of Body right now. Now, today I want to start work on the plan. You know, we, we've started a good... We've, we've really start a good foundation for becoming the sea people. We've we've raided realms kind of through Greece, um, basically wherever's within Diplo range really, which unfortunately isn't very far. Now we're going to start breaking up kingdoms and realms, and we're going to start dishing it out to anybody who wants it. We're going to destroy the empires, and we're going to leave nothing but ruin. And more importantly, we're not going to be the ones to take their position. We're not, we're not going to build an empire. We're not going to. We're not just going to steamroll. We're not going to blob. We are just going to control from the shadows as everything falls apart and catches fire. I like that idea. Um. It's my domain. Can use extort subjects decision. Uh, War Profiteer seems like it's going to be appropriate, given that what we've got coming up, we'll also go for Engine of Destruction, and we will also go for Firm Hand. Yeah, I think we are going to be quite a dreadful ruler by the time we're done here, so that's kind of appropriate. Kemet, of course, are frightening. Uh, not only did they grab Kush and the rest of uh, kind of... Well, the western points of Africa there, the western points of Northern Africa, they have also started heading down into kind of Akkadian, Sumerian lands. I think we should probably tidy this up because this guy is getting well out of hand. 32,000 troops, 11,000 gold. Pharaoh Amenemi of Komet with his uh, with his 47 diplomacy, by the way. That's fucking ridiculous. So not only is his realm incredibly powerful, but it's also incredibly stable as a result of that. We are probably the only ones that can stop him here. So I think we'll um, we'll see what we can do about this. We may need to do what I said and grab Crete. Um, sorry, not Crete, Cyprus. If we want to, if if we want to get within Diplo range, the only problem is the Hittites have started grabbing, have started grabbing part of it as well. So we're gonna have to grab the other half as fast as we can. Let's get you fabricating claims then. Alternatively, we fabricate a claim somewhere and come out and we just push it and we work out from there. That's obviously quite dangerous. Trying to defend, you know, say, part of the Nile Delta when all of our troops come in from quite far away. 
Not ideal. So we're going to get you fabricating a clone over here. We'll grab as much of this as possible. We'll bring that into our realm. And then we'll use that as a staging ground to attack, say, the Hittites and, uh, and, and Comet and kind of break that up as much as possible. We're going to rant about all of our prisoners for the time being. Uh, you know, we sent a message. We've gone out there. We've burnt some kingdoms. We've got plenty of gold out of it. We've, we've shown that we're not above throwing them in the labyrinth if push comes to shove. Now, I want to I wanna start getting some gold into the system. So, firstly, we can upgrade... I, I know I said we need to upgrade military, but we've kind of done it the other way around where we've, we've upgraded military by the virtue of extremely expensive mana arms. So, now we need to go back to our original plan and upgrade... Uh, and, and, and very much focus on upgrading... Me mechanics no what's the word you know for when money 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 go brr what's the word for that mechanics is that's not the word help me okay hold on i'm gonna have to google this because something something's gone wrong in my head uh word for money system what was the word bill cash economy that's it we get to work on the economy <laughs> <clears throat> Don't worry. I, like, I had a strange live stream earlier. Um, you can watch that on the second channel if you're feeling brave enough. Fuck, it's just, it's just frazzled my mind. We've got a son, Prince Thyreus, who is oh, handsome, intelligent, and consecrated blood. Not only is he not a genius, but he's also lost out on the... He's also lost out on the on the Herculean side effect, which are the other kids, you know, that's, that's kind of their big bonus to them. I think we're going to have to start... I'll be honest with you. I think we're going to have to start getting a bit more strict with these kids i'm sorry sim but i don't think it's your time handsome i'm not accepting anything less than genius we, the dynasty is going backwards if we do that we've got herculean genius and beautiful and fecund and pure-blooded all of which this kid has missed out on i'm sorry it is not your time in the fucking river with you get out of here you stinky child and we can get hold of body hey there we go as if I was concerned about us dying early anyway, huh? Right, so how are we doing on the uh, on the economy? That's the word, by the way. How are we doing on the economy front? So we're looking pretty... Obviously, our build time is through the roof because we've got 100 development and a bunch of other shit going on, which I dread to think what we've actually got going on right now. We haven't got architects, so that's the that's the downside. Um, holding text is 17%. That's pretty good. We may even want to go to things like swapping out the smelt works. Development growth, 12%, sure. But the development growth is irrelevant now because we've already maxed it out in, like... The first couple of characters, although our characters are obviously quite long lived. I think maybe we should we should start with the rule that if we have a kid that's not perfect, because we've got heirs, you know, we've got heirs, and not only that, we've got good heirs. Afen Afenwawa is Herculean, intelligent, beautiful, a fantastic character, a really fantastic character that I may have forgotten to educate. That's none of your business. Afen Pincher is okay. I mean, Amazonian, pretty and quick. That's something. At least it's one of everything. Honestly, Afghan Hound should have been drowned. Afghan Hound should have been drowned. And Akbash Dog is honestly pretty good. Uh, beautiful, intelligent, hail, fecund. You're another good character. Um, but, but Afghan Hound definitely should have been drowned. And any other future characters that aren't perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean genius, beautiful, and Herculean slash Amazonian. Preferably fecund. Preferably consecrated blood. Preferably pure-blooded. All of those. Unless they're perfect... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stick them in the water, and then when we've got the perfect child, we're gonna embrace celibacy. We need to not repeat the mistakes of our previous characters, where we just had shit after shit after shit. It, 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 Domenius, I'm sorry. In the river with you. Kindness born from birth. Oh no. <laughs> For every birth, the cordiality shows me grows as I hold my newborn babe in my arms, and I'm greeted by the river itself the ocean the vast ocean and prepare it over my shoulder ready to eat i do have quite the impressive gathering of children kindness born from birth except for those last two kids who are now fish food we, what do we get we got a boar we got a boar bearing in mind the white boar eludes us is it the white boar it's just a regular boar that's a boring boar that's why they call it that i would assume uh we got some more prisoners coming around so again i'm more than happy to go for grandfather educate um, more than happy to be going for ransoms and, and investments rather than just keeping them in our prison to make a point. The High Kingdom of where? The High Kingdom of, of, of East Crete. No, I don't want to make that. No, no, no. We, we've agreed. No kingdom, no, no empire level title. So we only need one kingdom. We can make a kingdom and give it out. But I think East Crete right now is an essential part of our, I mean, it's even called the Minoan Sea. So that one, that one we want to kind of keep for ourselves. What the fuck are you talking about? You learned of Petty King Schnauzer's incestuous secret. This happened despite your spouse's terrible entry skill. 
it happened despite that because everybody in our freaking family is that. It's a safe bet. It's a safe bet. Who is he? Oh, my God. Show me, show me, show me. Schnauzer. What have you been up to, you filthy boy? He's not on the list. Oh, there he is. It just says, is incestuous. We don't know who with, though, I would assume. <sighs> I'm so annoyed at you people. This person is almost certainly the illegitimate child. Almost a certain of Lassie and Tota. What? How can... How can Lassie be almost certainly the illegitimate child of Lassie and Toto? Oh, unless it's talking in the first person. Like, we're looking at her and we're thinking, oh, we're almost certainly the illegitimate child of Lassie and Toto. So we've got a hook on her. We can say mother down in the labyrinth. We can say mother, mother, mother. Are we your illegitimate child? That's the echo, by the way. Or she's lost her mind, which is possible given the hefty amount of incest going on right now. My son, Afanwara, has been impressed by one of the household charioteers. So I think this kid is probably going to be our heir, right? Because he's beautiful, intelligent, Hercule, missing on fecund and pure-blooded and obviously genius, which is a big deal. But this guy can... This guy can uh, strengthen the bloodline. More importantly, right now, he's diligent, shy, patient, and curious. Love to get rid of shy, but it's not a big deal if we can't. Um, we give him patient as well. Oh, he's already got patient. We give him generous on top of all of these, which is quite good. Or we can get diligent. Diligent, patient. Shh. Oh, he's already got diligent too. Well, wow, fuck. In that case, we'll give him generous, I guess. There you are. Oh, but that got rid of... That got rid of patient. Oh, because patient's the default one. Well, I've royally fucked that up. Well, it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Um, this guy is is being trained in learning, but it wouldn't be too late to flip him over to diplomacy, especially given that he's actually excelling in diplomacy, and he was just in, inducted into the coven too there. I like that's automatic, because I'd almost certainly forget. And little Afanhawa has turned out to be a failure. An absolute failure. Adequate bargainer. That is not good enough for the ruler of the sea people. Well, I mean, we're not even going to be fucking sea people if we end up with more idiots like you. Okay, another chance at the genie, at the, at the perfect child. Okay, so what else have we got here? Your shit, Afghan Pincher. It's coming out pretty badly. I won't lie. Um, Afghan Hound is garbage. Should have, should have never made it past uh, infancy. Adel Terrier, to be fair, is being trained in martial. So you know what? We're gonna sack whoever's educating her, and we're gonna take over. We don't know much about Marshall. Well, I assume we know more than average. Yeah, 21. We, we know more than the average person about Marshall. Um, we're not the best of the best, but I think we can guide her. She is Amazonian and genius. She's also capable of consecrating the bloodline. And she's got, in my opinion, a better combination of traits there. Although Amazonian is only really good because of the health boost, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's good because of the other stuff too. But the big bonus of it is the health, health boost that we don't really have to worry about this campaign. Okay. We've got Akbash Dog. Which I'm really not interested in. Oh god, let's hope this newborn is better. Come on. Gimme give gimme give gimme the child. Uh Chris is stewardship by two. Chris is intrigued by two. Hey, there you go. You're fine. Good 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 job. Right, okay. We didn't we didn't get the best outcome, unfortunately, but it doesn't really matter too much. My daughter Pero. God, these kids are terrible. Pero, it's not your time. In the ocean. You can't play this jaunty music as we as we chuck our kid in the fucking sea. <laughs> do 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 do. Good lord. Thank you, thank you, CK3. Very cool. Eagle Reveler. No, no, no. You need to you need to cut that shit out right now. Do you want to end it like your grandmother, the size of a labyrinth? I don't think so. We need to we need to not do that if you don't mind. Right, let's get you guys out of here. Let's say you're prisoner and immortal. Did I read that right? I bloody hope. I didn't read that right. Okay. Let's just see what happens when it pops up again. Oh, they haven't got any money right now to, uh, to ransom another person. I could have sworn that said you're a prisoner and a mortar there for a second. The only problem we've got right now... Um, okay, what, what can we go for you? Hang on, hang on. Uh, temperate. That's virtuous. Cynical. Probably not great. Just is also virtuous. Um, I, I think I want just here. I think we want just. I stick with that. I, I, this character may end up being alright, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm quite heavily leaning on Airedale coming out okay. The genius Amazonian combo is so nice anyway. And we've got a chance in another kid regardless. What was he talking about beforehand? Um, right, the only problem with maxing out our development so early on is that we can't get the build time bonuses from increasing development in the county anymore. Because we can't do that because we're maxed out. Shit. Um, I guess we go for Architect, right? How close are we to that? Oh, bloody miles away. Ugh. Okay. 
I think we just need to go go to war and accept the fact that we're gonna be in debt whenever we go to war. Because we're not gonna be able to get the infrastructure down in time, I don't think. <gasps> Schnauzer's gone? Oh my god, he another one. Was Schnauzer the one that Lassie was trying to murder to to tidy up? Oh, that's, it wasn't Lassie, it was our father. It was Toto trying to murder to tidy up loose ends. He was the one that ended up imprisoned because they found out that he was having an affair with, with Lassie Jr. Am I remembering that right? So there we go. Our two incestuous family members have tidied themselves up. Except for, I mean, our father's in the, in the labyrinth, right? Yeah, he is. So he's gone. Uh, is there anyone else we got to worry about? We f we found a secret about someone though, didn't we? Did we not? I'm j I I do want to I do want to sort this out. Yeah, again, it's it's against us, so that doesn't really that doesn't really help. Thank you. Daughter and cousin Lassie. I'm looking for genius, beautiful, and Herculean. That's not good enough. I'm I'm gonna keep you around. I'm gonna keep you around because you're quick, robust, and beautiful. You've got all three of the traits, and that's really quite a big deal so we're gonna go for dog breeds on google <laughs> back to back to dogtime.com right what do we get up to we've had akbash akita akita that's quite a good name anyway make her strong and wise akita akita of karita sorry <laughs> i ap apologize thoroughly right okay um your nephew cousin and vassal capnius uh that's the Son of Lassie and Collie. It was bloody Collie. Collie, you also have to go in the shit. You're done. We also need to deal with him because he's another. Oh, right. It was Lassie and Collie. They were the really prolific ones, if you remember. Oh, God. We have to, we have to prove that we're better than Lassie. Start work. Oh, balls. It seems like they may have swept on it to escape Egypt faster than... We, well, look, we're going for a completely opposite objective here. Those guys are trying to get to the island to escape Egypt. I'm trying to get on that island so that we can get into Egypt. This guy's a, a coward and an idiot, and I'm, I'm done with you. Um, your claims. We've got a claim on one... I mean, if I'm declaring war on on these guys, I'm going to declare war on the whole bloody thing, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's let's go for... Oh, shit. There's quite a lot of counties there, though, isn't there? Damn. We could, we could swear fealty to each. <laughs> that would be, uh, that'd be something, huh? That'd be quite fun. And he's also a master charioteer. Look at that. That's quite cool. I don't know if I want to throw away our people's, I don't know if I want to throw away our, our, our people's strengths like that, you know? Athen Pincher came out a skilled scribe. Rubbish. Absolutely, absolutely crap. Still, it's, it's all in Airedale Terrier here. Come on. Don't mess this up. My agent have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to Collie alone. Be robbed with the poison. The bed of herbs will master the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appetit, Collie. 71%? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ed Terry seemed to enjoy our last face immensely. Was it the duck? You stupid girl. No. I'm uh, gonna trade greedy. Sure, how to make friends at a feast. We gain zero stress for that. Uh, because we are gregarious. Or we gain zero stress. Why are we getting zero stress in so many things? Why is that? Is it because we're like, uh... I don't know. So few things seem to cause us stress anymore. She's got like some anti-stress. Uh, divine... Oh, I guess divine guidance. If you have stress gain minus 25%. If you have enough of those stacking up. Oh, life reaffirmed. Plus divine guidance. And we've got three confidants. We've managed to reduce... I never even considered that that was a possibility. Playing without stress like that. That's quite cool. Um, lustful, gregarious, or greedy. Uh, well, it's either gregarious, I think, or lustful. Um, lustful, lustful, lustful. Intrigue, seduction scheme power, fertility. I uh, could be quite good. Um, I think we'll go for gregarious. I think we'll go for gregarious. Oh! It seems Collie has escaped to Pollen's judgment yet again. The poison did not have the intended effect, but merely left for the, un uh, the unlanded bedridden for a week. We're referring to him as the unlanded. Wow. Thankfully, it's as though nothing but a common illness. And Collie is none the wiser. Next time, I'll make sure he chokes on it. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. We don't have Scholar. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought... I was like, what the hell have we spent all these 
We spent all these points. I don't know what, what we've got left to spend the perk on. But no, we just didn't have, didn't have a scholar at that stage. I think it's time for chivalry. She is going to be leading the armies herself on account of having 54 combat and 69. Nice learning. I think she's I think she's ready. And we finally got a daughter with... Get, get this, ready? Beautiful genius and Herculean. Fuck. I mean, you're not bad. You've actually got pure blooded, which is which seems to be the the, the rarer of the traits. In brilliant chance, minus fifty percent. Ooh, ah, uh, it might not be bad given some of the family members in this dynasty. Intelligent, hale, and comely. I did say if they had all three of the traits, and she does have more than that on top of it. Okay, you know what? We're keeping you around. We're keeping you around. We're gonna call you Akita Chow. Akita. Chow, may you grow strong and wise, my daughter. Did other meek, humble, uh, deceitful, or honest? Um, ugh. I guess deceitful. Uh, you know, uh, the question is, do we want to lower intrigue? Do we want to lower diplomacy, or would we rather just have the fairly kind of banal humble? I think I'm gonna go for that. I think we'll, I think we'll keep humble right now. City state of Papa is in the bag. Excellent. Um, right. Okay, okay. Oh, shit, it's going to take a long time if we're going to province at a time. All I need is a foot in the door. You know, we just need Diplo range. That's it. Getting Hound became an astute intellectual. Uh, actually not bad at all. 23 learning. Uh, is there a place for you on the council? Yes, there is. Get fucking sacked. Oh, I mean, we could put Lassie on it. Oh, hang on. We could put Prosimnos. Uh, he's got 33 learning. Why the hell have we had fucking... Kalidnos on the council. Get out of here. You're not related to us. And everybody knows what goes on in this court. Um, Capnius is our nephew, cousin, and steward. Toto is our father, half-brother, and chancellor. You're our half-brother, uncle, and court chaplain. You're our half-brother, uncle, and you are our half-sister, aunt, and spymaster. Everybody is related at least twice, which is on both sides of the family, which is even worse. Babe is still our elected successor. Again, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see how like, Edel Terrier comes out before I start messing with succession. Ah, oh, that's what we want to see. 40 gold in exchange for the city state of Amorosa. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, which one's Amorosa? Um, ah, oh, good. It's the place I've claimed already. You son of a bitch. Right, let's head down to... I okay, guess so we've got all of that. Or, or specifically those ones. Um, I guess we go for Bamboola. So we've got everything down there now. And then we'll head around... I guess we'll take it in chunks. That way, if we do want to declare war for half the island, we can do that. Nanas. Nanas, you better be buoyant. Because if I see a disappointing... Oh! oh! What are we going to name you? Uh, Akita Pit. Akita Pit. There we are. Make us strong and wise. That's what we want to see more of, please. Genius, Hercule, and Handsome. A second chance at a good successor. That's definitely worth it. No, we don't just give that to Shih Tzu. Get out of here. I want to see a Shih Tzu. You can watch our Rimworld series. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was, that was pretty good, actually. That's that's not a... <clears throat> right, okay. Fuck off. Get out of here. Where are we? We could give him to Lassie to educate. Yeah. Go on, then. You got to do something useful. Son, and go, in, go into this dark labyrinth and go and find your grandmother slash great-grandmother. Oh dear. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reign inside the castle, and all traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush, lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiraling stairs, I see only darkness, reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. We'll search the upper floors and gain money, uh, which is tempting, or we go for... Oh shit, we just potentially get brave for free? I swear that shadow just moved. Is it blood? What was that sound? No. What might be hidden in the darkness? Oh, fuck off. F fuck off, pug. Trusting me. Trusting you. Uh -huh. um, oh, Aha. Oh, was that Akbash Dog or was that Adel Terrier? Oh, we're training both in Marshall. Oh, that's fine. Um, who's educating you then? Me? Okay, fine. Well, obviously, because we just had a bloody education pop up, you genius. Uh, focus on the boon, she already possesses. I've never deceived you, Akbash Dog. No, I, th I think the flexible way of thinking here. Given that it's supposed to be a bloody commander. Ah, all of Bamboola. The, the very. Did I just say the top option? You t it, moron. 
You absolute fool. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed a little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Airdale Terry, can come to truly appreciate it. Uh, hey, that's okay. Oh, she came out as a master charioteer, though. Holy shit. Um, wow, look at that. 54 prowess. She's almost as good as us, and we've got years and years and years of, uh, of, of immortality experience, huh? Should we experiment with herbs with Toto? Um, no, we're okay. I think I'll take the diplomacy lifestyle perk. God knows what Toto's like under the influence. We don't want to go near that guy. Uh, Praetorian God, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's go down August, actually. Sod it. That one makes the most sense. We're, we're trying to go into, into warfare. Let's go into Gallant as well. We're going to have this person leading armies. The second I... Just get a few more claims. That's all I need. Hoodia. Bo Bodea. Garbage here. Get in the bloody ocean. Uh, yeah, you could say that. All babies cry, but with little Budea, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwives to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. The little lady is not gaining weight as she should. We'll take good care of her, my lady, but in the end, her life is in Apollon's hands. I have some news for you. <laughs> I have some news for you. She's probably not going to make it. Backbash dog. Oh. It is impressive to see skill in someone so young. She displays the level of insight that's rare among veteran commanders. She's actually only gone and done it. Oh, she's not actually that fucking good, though, to say that. I mean, she's got intelligence, sure, beautiful, hail, fecund, consecrated blood, flagellant, and wounded. She's a master charioteer, and she's got brilliant strategies, but she's not as good as Airedale Terrier. What the hell happened there, then, huh? Oh, because your gene... Yeah, I guess I guess it is the difference in genius. Wow, that's, that's a surprise. Who the hell are we going to elect then? They're all fairly weak this generation, you know? I'm a, I'm a little unsure on this one. Uh, hero effectiveness 75%. Now, bear in mind, we've already got the strongest heroes in the world. Taking their effectiveness and cranking it up by another 75% when you've got an army that looks a little bit something like... A little bit something like this is... Um, Horrendous overkill. Like, massive, ridiculous overkill. Pelias. Pelias was born a miracle worker. Oh, man. A miracle worker genius. That's the auspicious birthright. I think it would be wrong of me, even though... I mean, clearly he's been favoured by... By by birth in this case. I think we're going to have to stick with it. And you, my son, are going to get called... Akita Shepherd. Akita Shepherd. 75. Okay, fine. Um, obviously, we've got to educate this kid with, with, with learning. You could be the greatest priest this round has ever seen. Grandmother. Into, into the labyrinth with you as well. Your culture is now fascinated by the TBD innovation. Whatever the bloody hell a TBD is. To be determined? Oh, shit. We're right at the end. Okay. Um... Oh, distance efficiency 4. Diplomatic range plus 25%. We might not even need this island. We're just grabbing it for shits and giggles at this point. Well, how long is it going to take, actually, even with the cultural innovation? Six years. Okay. Um, we're, we're almost certainly going to have clones on all of this before before then. Um, in fact, how much more do we need to... Did we not just get a claim on that, or am I going crazy? Oh, bollocks. Wrong one. My bad. Hang on. Head over there. Oh, that is great timing. We became the Blade of Ares, just as I believe we've only got one more titles to fabricate claims on yep Voni, and then we can get in there blade of aries that's cool i like that so if we also quickly get um do we have another oh my god okay host of grand right sure we'll get all this stuff tidied up while we're just waiting on that a little bit then uh grand offering sure nice and straightforward uh learning lifestyle perk is absolutely pointless um everyone gains 20 opinion that seems fine by me and we'll go for the hunt as well. Not really bothered by the mystical communion anymore, given that we don't need... Oh, shit. Yes, kill it. Okay, we're good. Um, we don't actually need any more learning lifestyle experience. We might as well just untick that one, to be honest with you. But I was going to say, we need to just see if we can get a few more martial perks first. Although we should absolutely annihilate them, I think. Um, right, so I want to go never back down. Courtship. I mean, any that give commander effectiveness, to be honest, any that give extra heroes too would be fantastic, but that's okay. What does Gallant do again? Prowess and... Oh, that's not fantastic. So that is now claims on the entire island of Cyprus, right? Yes, and even beyond that. Oh, look at this. Similar. So actually, maybe those final martial perks would have come in handy here. Let's fucking do it. 
Emperor Xanthos. Emperor no longer. Your realm is done for, my friend. I'm going to splinter you into a thousand million pieces. One more chariot. <laughs> I want a lot more chariots, actually. Uh, we've got a ridiculous amount of gold, so we might as well spend them on bloody chariots. In fact, I'm going to spend them on absolutely everything. Yes. Look at the army. 44 gold a month. Oh, Jesus. 105 gold per month. <laughs> well, that suddenly became quite expensive, didn't it? We'll be fine. I hope. I hope we'll be fine. Right, get to work. As long as we siege fast, we can pay off some of the debt. Emphasis on some... <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Ah, oh, we did get distance efficiency there. Look at that. Fantastic. Siege engineers. We might be able to get some siege weapons. Even if it's just like, what What would it be at this point in time? Like a scorpion? I mean, even that's a bit... Oh, God damn. I, like, Bronze Age... I've got to think back to Age of Empires 1. Ah, elephants. We need elephants. We've got a war horse that we can name. I'm going to go for Balius, one of Achilles' horses. That seems appropriate. Or we can go for Boris, the ancient Greek god of the North Wind. I think that one's even more appropriate in hindsight. Yeah, big fan of that. 94%. They've put up absolutely no fight at all. We've basically just walked in and said, this island's ours now. And they've all agreed with it. They did nothing. No battles. No, no troops raised. Not a single troop of theirs was lost. And we lost troops to attrition and that was it. We gain the kingdom of Philia, the kingdom of Calabasas, the kingdom of Ledra, the kingdom of Alicia, Real Re Lanza, and uh, everything, by the way. Uh, these people become our vassals. The emperor loses 660 of his finest prestiges. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, my poor realm. I put warfare first. I put warfare above above e e economics. Fine, get them out of here. We need all the gold we can take at this point. What a mess. But I assume it was not for nothing. Because now we can declare war on Kemet. We're there. We're within striking distance. We do not have a Cassus Bellow for Pharaoh Wegath. But my god, I'm going to get some. Mark my words. Thank you all for watching. I've got a lot of round to tidy up because this is an absolute mess. So I'll get that done, ready for when we jump back in tomorrow to take apart Komet. I, I think the goal of this campaign should be absolutely no empires on the map. It's going to be quite hard to pull it off. No empires, and I think that that's a good way to bring about the end of the Bronze Ages, huh? Thank you to Chipola Grown, Night Rouge, Patty Pat Pies, Grow Skull, Donna Bones, Oliver, Chris, Solon Breen, Goatfather, Kane, GB, Scarlet Bard, Simba, Nostra, Slow King, 1710, and Gibbering Man for their support at the Executive Producer Tears over on Coffee for the past four days of Coffee. And of course, thanks to everybody at the Executive Producer Tears over there. Big thanks to those guys. And a thank you as well to Plumby Fred. Valo, Consulus, Fiddle Piddle, Diddle Riddle, Davidovich, Emerald Beam, Dave TLV, Ie Dumas, Uve Wave Way Way, Zafio, Hallin, and Jonah as well. Thank you guys. See you all tomorrow for hopefully Egypt. The fall of Kemet. My god, I've just looked at them on the map and I don't think we can do it. But we'll see. <laughs>